Hi, my name is Manjot Singh. I'm an enterprise architect at MariaDB, and I'm here to talk to you about GTIDs. What are they and what do they help with? So historically, when we do replication with MariaDB, we would have two variables we would need to, to know. Uh, one would be our binary log or bin log uh, file name, and the other one would be a position. And this is where in the file the, the uh, primary currently is, so that the replica knows where, where to pick up, uh, pick up from. Uh, so knowing those is great, but you can see that this is server specific. If this primary goes down and we need to replace the primary with the new primary, um, we'd have to recalculate in the old days and figure out, well, where in the new primary's binary log are we and what position? Uh, so that made uh, a lot of flexible topologies more difficult and caused a lot of custom orchestration and, and that type of thing. So now what we have since uh, MariaDB 10.0 is a concept of GTID. And GTIDs are basically a global transaction identifier. The, uh, the GTID will be composed of a domain ID, so it'll have some number, um, followed by a server ID, followed by a sequence number. And so you might see a GTID that looks like one dash, uh, you know, server 34 and, you know, 5555. So what this tells me is the domain is basically our data domain. So this stream of data is labeled as number one. It was written on server 34, and this is position 5555. Uh, and so what we can do then is if we fail to another primary or we want to replicate from, say, a replica of a replica, um, we can just tell, tell it, hey, I know that I'm at this GTID. What's the next uh, GTID? Uh, and uh, its primary will, will provide that to it for a replication. So it provides some really good solutions for flexible topologies, um, identifying your, uh, your replication stream, and um, some, you know, basically tagging your data in a way that, that is flexible. Uh, so uh, this is, this is uh, basically the basics of, of GTID. Thank you. Mm -hmm.